How's it going everyone? So today I have another algorithm video for you, maximum number of balloons. At least according to the LeetCode platform, this is the most asked question by Tesla in 2020. And although it's an easier question, I think it's still good to go over because it's kind of like a filter problem for candidates. So before I get into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my Patreon if you want to join my Discord channel. All right, so the description of a problem says, given a string text, you want to use the characters of text to form as many instances of the word balloon as possible. You can use each character in text at most once, return the maximum number of instances that can be formed. Okay, so let's say we were given the following example. If we look through this string, we can make up the word balloon two times without reusing letters. And it doesn't matter in which way the letters are arranged, we just have to make sure that we have all the letters necessary to make up that word. So to solve this efficiently, we have to first count the number of occurrences of each letter in our string. So normally you can use like a map to do this, but there actually is an easier way. And that is just to have an integer array of size 26. So why 26? If we look back at our problem description, it says that text consists of lowercase English letters only. So this is really helpful for us because now we know the whole range of characters that could be present in our input. So with this integer array of size 26, each index is going to point to a specific lowercase letter. So for example, lowercase a, we'll look at index zero, lowercase b, we'll look at index one, and so on. So I'm sure you might be wondering, well, how do we actually map a character to an index in an integer array? So if we look at an ASCII table, we can see that all lowercase letters have an appropriate decimal number tied to them. So for example, let's say we wanna map lowercase character b to index one. If we do b minus a, that would be 98 minus 97, which equals one. So as you can see, the way we get our index is we subtract the lowercase letter from a, and that will always give us the appropriate index in the range of zero to 25. So if we loop through all characters in our string, we just have to subtract each character by the character a, and then we'll increase the count at that index. So now that we have our counts, we just need to determine how many times we can make up the word balloon. So the only characters that we care about are B, A, L, O, and N, because those are the characters that make up the word balloon. In order to find the number of words that we can make up, we just need to grab the minimum count of these characters at each indice. It has to be the minimum because if we don't have all the characters to make up the word, then we can't count it. So first we're gonna start off with character B, that is at index one and it has a value of two. Balloon has only one occurrence of B, so that means we can make up two balloon words with the character B. We look up character A at index zero, which also has a value of two. Balloon only has one occurrence of the character A, so if we do the minimum between two and two, that would just be two. Character L has a value of four and balloon has two occurrences of the character L. That means if we take our value of four and divide it by two, that is how many words that we can make up with the amount of L's that we were given. So once again, we're gonna do the minimum between two and two, that would also be two. Character O has a value of six and it has two occurrences in the word balloon. That means if we do six divided by two, that would be three. And that is how many words we could make up with the number of O's that we were given. So if we do minimum between two and three, that would be two. And lastly, we look up N, which has a value of three. Balloon has only one occurrence of N. So if we do three divided by one, that would be three. So we do the minimum between two and three, which is two. And just like how we discussed earlier, we have two words that can be created from our input. So we're given a string text, and then we need to return an integer, which is the number of words that can be created. So the first thing we wanna do is create an integer array of size 26. And now we need to count the number of occurrences that we have for every character in our input. So we're gonna loop over our text. So we could say text.length i++ plus plus. and now we're going to go into count and we're going to say text.char at the index i minus the character a 
and then we just need to increase it because subtracting the character A from any other lowercase letter will give us the appropriate index that we're looking for. And now we just need to look at the characters that we care about, B, A, L, O, and N. So starting with B, that is mapped to index one. So let's create an integer min, and we can say that is mapped to count at index one. We come down to character A, we say min is equal to math.min between min and count at index zero, because that's where character A is. Character L, math.min, min, count at index 11, divided by 2. The reason why we do divided by 2 is because L has two occurrences in the word balloon. We move down to character O, min, math.min, between min, count at index 14, divided by 2. O has two occurrences. And then finally, we come down to character N, min equals math.min between min and count at index 13, and then just return min. So let's just make sure the solution works. The time complexity of our solution is going to be big O of N, where N is the number of characters we have in our input string. We have to loop over every single character and count the number of occurrences. And as for our space complexity, it's actually constant. Although we are initializing an integer array on line three, it is always going to be of size 26. So no matter if our input string grows to be a million in length, it wouldn't matter because it's not going to affect the amount of memory that we initialize. So that is it for this video, guys. I'm gonna be releasing a couple more algorithm and data structure videos specifically on LeetCode, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you want access to my private Discord channel where you can talk to me and other people doing interview prep, check out my Patreon. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.